guys, welcome to the channel and once again we're going to talk about the Xiaomi Redmi 4A aka Rolex. Now this is a new ROM, the name of the ROM is Toxic and we are going to have a look at it. Basically we'll be installing this ROM, we will have a look at the features and stuff like that and is it good to be a daily driver as well. Now this is not going to be a full review, this is something called as install and preview. It's a complete series on my channel wherein we go ahead and look at the installation process of a particular ROM and then we have a first look at it and sort of get the first impressions of how good the ROM is. So before we begin, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. If you like motorbikes and stuff like that, go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's begin. Hey guys, welcome to the channel and another day, another video for the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. Now, a month back, I didn't really think that I would say that. But yes, here we are, more ROMs, more development for the Rolex and I'm compelled to give you guys videos and I love doing that. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about a new ROM called Toxic OS. Now that is again, an AOSP ROM based on Android 8.1.0 and hopefully has the latest June security patch. Now, before we begin, there are a few set of disclaimers that you guys need to take care of. You need to have at least 50% battery on this guy. Apart from that, you need to use the download link mentioned in the description, download the ROM, copy it to your phone's internal memory. And of course, you need to back up all your data so that you don't lose any information because we will be wiping the phone. And make sure the best and the most important thing is you need to have TWRP without which you cannot flash a ROM. So let's begin here. Let's go to wipe and swipe to factory reset and go to install and select the toxic rom and swipe to confirm flash now as always this particular rom flash will take anywhere between five to seven minutes security patch is 5th of june 2018 and apart from that is there any special information not really so yeah now these videos are getting smaller and smaller by the day because all these AOSP ROMs that you talk about are not much different from one another. Now today, after I'm done shooting all these videos for you guys, I'm thinking I will be having a detailed look at the forums for the Xiaomi Redmi 4A because I believe it does have unofficial project treble support. If that happens, well, guess what? It will be a lot of fun because that will extend the life of this particular device. Now, I was also thinking that now that development has really, really picked up and MIUI, the stock ROM for this particular device, on the other hand, is based on Android 7.1.2 Nougat and this is Android 8.1 Oreo. I should do a speed test, maybe a benchmark test and see if the AOSP ROMs perform well or not. Let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, the ROM has been flashed. So we will just go ahead and wipe cache in Dalvik to be on a safer side. And we will go ahead and reboot system and do not install. So I'm going to be looking at the boot animation of this ROM for the first time because Toxic OS, I don't even remember if I've heard about this particular ROM. So let's see what the boot animation is all about. That's a pretty cool boot animation to begin with. Yeah, so that's a good boot animation. If you like, make something like this on a new ROM, well, you've got my attention. Now, the only thing that I have my fingers crossed for is that it should not have any force closures. But again, usual drill, the first boot will take between three to five minutes. So please be patient and wait for the phone to boot up. All right, so looks like the force close saga continues because the ROM has definitely booted up and messages has stopped working and uh, yeah. So it does say toxic over there and phone has stopped. Wow, wonderful. Anything else needs to stop? No. All right. So yeah, a pretty, pretty bare bones ROM here. Again, a slightly different look at it. Let me just go ahead and reduce the brightness for you guys there. The device isn't supported and phone calls may not work correctly now that is the main idea behind install and preview videos is that uh, the reason i do is so that you don't have to do it so the phone app is giving me some issues now before we do anything else what i'm most interested in is uh, i would go to network and internet and maybe sim cards and then i will check if there is 
voice over LT that is available. There you go, SIM cards, calls, let's choose Geo, let's miss messages, let's choose Geo. Uh, what else do we have? Mobile network, advanced, okay. So let's see if it actually allows us to make a call or not. All right. So that's really, really strange because after I selected the SIM card and stuff, it is not giving me any force closures. Uh, it is. There you go. So the phone app keeps closing in this particular ROM. That is a major, major bug. So this is definitely not a daily driver. You can go ahead and check other ROMs if you want to use something as a daily driver. But now that we have installed this particular ROM and we have booted into it, and now that we've gone through all the hassle, let's go ahead and have a look at it. Why not, right? So a very, very minimalistic ROM. This is lean settings here. Um, I don't know what lean is. So it's basically some sort of customization option that is there. Now, apart from that, let's go to settings here. A very, very colored settings menu, which looks a little nice and trendy compared to the bland white colored. And it says hazard over here. So that's basically definitely the customization menu. And looks like this ROM does have a ton of customization available, as you can see over here not as much as resurrection remix is what i would say here but nonetheless it does have some customization and let me quickly go ahead and do the most basic test camera is it working or not again we have google camera and i'm pretty sure it should be working yeah it just snapped a picture um yeah so the camera is working but unfortunately the phone app is giving a force close so let's quickly go to settings once again this is a shortcut for toxic, is it? Hazard, okay, yeah, that's correct. So let's go to settings here. Let's go to system. And you have a system UI tuner over here as well. So there's a little bit of customization here as well. So there you have it, guys. That is toxic OS for you. Not recommended to install as of now unless they fix the force closure of phone. And if there are any other bugs, there you go. While I was talking about it, it through another error at me so yeah not definitely not recommended to install it right now you can maybe wait for a few days and then give it a try but hey this was the install and preview of toxic os for the xiaomi redmi 4a and choose one of the three roms let me know which are the three roms that i should review on this particular channel mention in the comment section and the top three votes will ensure that those particular roms are reviewed in detail for this particular device for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials see you in the next one take care Keep smiling. Goodbye.